everybody. Hey y'all, it's Whitney Nicely, and I'm going to talk about the three different ways that you can get paid for doing a lease option, okay? Um, so when you have a house under contract and you have a lease option or owner financing on it, you can get paid three different ways, okay? The first way you're going to get paid is when you find a tenant buyer who probably has bad credit or they need to move to town and establish their job history before they can get a mortgage or maybe they're waiting out of bankruptcy or whatever is happening to your tenant buyer that's keeping them from getting a mortgage like right now today, that's fine. Okay, because they're going to pay you to live in this house for 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. And in the meantime, they're going to put, uh, they're going to give you money before they move in as an option fee. That's the first way we're going to get paid. They're going to pay you a premium for rent every month. That's the second way we're going to get paid. And then you probably bought the house for less than what you're going to sell it for. Okay, and that's the third way we're going to get paid. All right, so first of all, let's say hypothetically we're buying a house for $100,000 and we gave our seller no money down on it because they didn't want any money. And there's sellers out there that don't want any money, they'll just let you buy the house and start making payments in three or four or six months. Okay, um, but let's assume that we are renting this house for seven fifty a month and we have five years to pay it off okay so we have five years to pay off a hundred thousand dollar house at seven fifty a month and let's say that it's just free and clear okay and that we're getting a full seven fifty a month pay down on the house okay and this is totally possible don't tell me it's not because I've done this Okay, so we have, let me write this down so I don't get confused. We're buying it for five years with $100,000 and seven hundred and fifty a month towards the principal. Okay? Five years, $100,000 and seven hundred and fifty a month towards principal. Okay, so when we do this, this house is probably worth the ARV on it, the after repaired value on it. Let's say it's worth 120. We're going to give our tenant buyer two years to get their mortgage, and they're going to pay us a thousand dollars a month, and we're going to give them 20 percent towards the purchase price every month. Okay, so 200 a month out of that thousand is going towards their purchase price. Okay, we had five years, we're buying it for a hundred, and we're getting, we're paying 750 a month towards the purchase price. And all of our payment is going towards the purchase price. So every month when we make our payment, it's going down, down, down. The principal is going down. Our tenant buyer is buying the house from us for 120, and they have two years to cash us out. And we're by, uh, they're paying us a thousand dollars a month. Only twenty percent of it is going towards the purchase price. So two hundred a month is going towards their one hundred and twenty. Seven hundred and fifty a month is going towards our one hundred of their money. Okay. So now let's talk about the down payment. We are putting nothing down. Nothing down. They are going to give us, this is a $120,000 house, let's say they're giving us $12,000 down. That's 10%. Okay? $12,000 down. So, we've just made $12,000. Because our seller didn't ask for any money. They just wanted somebody to start making them payments on it. So when our tenant buyer gives us whatever it is they give us, whether they give us ten thousand, twelve thousand, or forty thousand, we get to keep that. Now, you can give out of this twelve thousand, you can give half of that towards their purchase price, or you can give none of it to their purchase price. Yeah. Okay. You give half of it towards the purchase price or none of it towards the purchase price. And this is a non 
refundable option fee. Non-refundable. So they have two years to buy this house. If they call in a year and they're like, hey, Wit, we got to go. Turns out we're not going to be able to buy this house. I'm like, all right, well, you don't get your money back. You don't get any of your rent back. But go on, have a nice life. Then I'll find somebody who's going to do all of this again, okay? Because I'm one year into my five-year contract now. So I get another tenant buyer in. I give them two years on the same deal. They put 120. They're going to buy the house for 120. I'm paying it down, so I probably only owe like 95 after a year. Mm, no, I owe 92 after a year if I'm getting full pay down. And now I'm selling it again for 120. They're still going to pay me a thousand dollars a month, and let's say this time they don't give me twelve thousand down. Let's say this time they give me fifteen thousand down. Again, that fifteen thousand that they gave me is non-refundable. It's mine. And again, I can give them half of that fifteen towards their principal pay down, or I can give them none towards their principal pay down. And I'll tell you right now, guys, that no matter how much I get in an option fee from my tenant buyers, the first 5000 is mine. It's mine. If they give me 20000 then I'll give them 15000 off that 120 if and when they buy it. I'll give them 20% of the monthly payment towards the 120 if and when they buy it. If not, it's all non-refundable. It's all mine. Okay, so let's talk about the three different ways that we're going to get paid. On this, we sold this house, the same house, twice now in two years, right? So we got money. We got $12,000 in an option fee the first time. We got $15,000 in an option fee the second time. So there's $27,000 that we got. And there's don't, don't tell me there's not people out there with $12,000 and $15,000 because there's plenty of people with $12,000, $15,000, $20,000, $40,000, $100,000 and they will give it to you as an option fee for you waiting and letting them buy this house from you. I promise they're out there. Okay, so now we're up to $27,000. Also, we've been making uh, 250 a month. The difference in 750, our payment to our seller is 750. Our payment to our, wait, our payment from our buyer is a thousand. So there's 250 a month that we've been getting. And they were in there. The first people were there for 12 months. The second people were there for 24 months. I don't know how much that is. Six, maybe ten thousand dollars. So now we're up to 37000 that we've made on this house, okay? Just in the difference of rent and option fees. But the second people, the people that gave us 15000 they actually got a mortgage at the end of two years. We've been paying this down, seven fifty a month. So for the first year, we're down to we owe 92000 At the end of the third year, because it took our second people two years, so that's 12, 24, 36 months at 750 a month. How much is that? How much is 36 times 750 a month? It's like $30,000, isn't it? Something like that? I don't know. My, my outside the box math isn't good. But, so we've got 30000 off our 100 so we owe $70,000 at the end of three years roundabouts okay but these people are giving us a hundred and twenty they get ten thousand off the purchase price and two hundred a month so two hundred times twenty four months they get forty eight hundred so they're getting fifteen thousand so they owe us one oh five so now we're getting the difference of we owe 70000 and they owe us 105000 So that is 35000 Okay, so we were up to thirty-seven. Now we're at 35000 that we're going to get on the back end payday. So that's what? $72,000 
off one house? On my crazy roundabout math, I think that comes out to $72,000 that we just made on a house that we have no money invested in. We made money in an option fee. We made $250 a month for 12 months and then for 24 months. And then we were paying down our mortgage faster than our tenant buyer was paying down their mortgage. So we got the difference when they got a mortgage. <laughs> Lease options are amazing. They're so amazing. So, so, so amazing. Um, I don't know any agent in the world that can make $72,000 off a $100,000 house if they list it even if they list it once a year for three years. I don't think that works. So my math is kind of loose, but y'all go through this and let me know. Remember in the beginning, we're buying this house. We have five years to buy this house. We're buying it for $100,000. Our payment is $750 a month. All of it is going towards our purchase price. And yes, that is possible. We have two tenant buyers come through. The first tenant buyer gives us 12,000 option fee and they have two years to buy it, but one year in they come and say they don't want it. So we have somebody else come in, they give us 15,000. And out of that 15,000, we keep 5,000 as the option fee for us and they get 10,000 towards their purchase price. They stay for two years and then get a mortgage. My math says that we made $72,000 on this deal over three years on a house that we had no money involved in. We didn't put any money down. We didn't go to the bank. We didn't use our credit. We used our skills, our scripts, and our problem solving solution, problem solving abilities to help a seller, to help a tenant buyer, and we made money in the meantime. If you're an agent, you can do this. I'm a broker for Whitney Buys Houses. I do this all the time. I tell people that I am an agent. I am an investor. I am out to make money. And as long as you make money, Mr. Seller, and you get to buy your house, Mr. Tenant Buyer, it's all good. If you have any questions, please send them to me. Send me a private message or post them up in the comments here. And... Let me know when you want to get started on these options because I just made $72,000 on this hypothetical deal in less than 15 minutes with no money involved, without using my credit, just making money, having fun. Bye y'all. Let me know if you have any questions. Hey, if you want to learn how to do this, if you want to work with me, let me coach you. Go to start.whitneynicely.com and book a call. We'll talk all about it. Bye, y'all.